In this short uh, video presentation, I'd like to show you some important things about uh, Onyx Books Max 2. So, first of all, you can uh, navigate in the in this device using either a stylus or your hand. So most of uh, us prefer to navigate using just the hand. And uh, the first thing I would like to show you is the home screen of the device. The home screen contains the uh, recently read document and the part where you can set in your user settings what to, sh what to display either recently read documents or just uh, newly added documents so you also can easily navigate to other parts uh, of the uh, operating system of the device so you can either go to application to the storage that is kind of uh, file manager to the library that is kind of um, books manager notes so it's easy, easy and fast uh, access to your notes and the uh, browser. So in the application you can uh, either use pre-installed applications like dictionary note, uh, like um, O-Reader, etc. Or you can install your own documents using just uh, pre-installed Play Store option. So you can uh, go to the Play Store and to look for applications you'd like to install and to test or to use. So back to the applications menu. I already have installed and tested some applications. I will uh, tell you uh, a little bit later in other session about WPS Office, uh, about uh, pre-installed monitor app and uh, some other apps. So back to the home screen. Uh, now I would like to show you the storage. This is a uh, quite comfortable uh, file manager. You can see uh, it shows the internal storage. In the storage uh, you can uh, add new folder. For example, I added the books folder. It's a standard folder for my books where I added some subfolders like computing, English, fiction, music, test. It's uh, on you what you'd like to, to uh, add and to use. For example, in my computing I have added uh, some additional subfolders like HTML5, pro programming in C Sharp, programming web. So you see it's uh, quite comfortable to organize and to use your documents. You also can use the library uh, option or a function. In the library function uh, there are uh, three general views. There's a list view, uh, standard list view, grid view, so you can see all your um, title pictures uh, and uh, the list view with details which means um, you can see title pictures, you can see title of the uh, document or, and the file name of the document. Sometimes it's uh, quite practical. So, to see all your documents you can just use this uh, move with the finger or click with the stylus. Both works quite properly. So, if you want to, to search something, there is a search function implemented in the library. So, you can open so this virtual keyboard. And, uh, for example, I'd like to search for, let's say, HTML. Go. So, those are my documents. Uh, which contain in the file name the HTML. You also can uh, do other things from the home screen, like for example you can enable the Wi-Fi, you can see the status of your battery, you can also change how your uh, page tone buttons uh, have to work. Uh, main program, reading program of Onyx Books uh, Max 2 works, that is uh, Neo Reader, Neo 2. So I 
I would like to open this document, this uh, fundamental computing programming in C sharp. So it's uh, very fast, as you can see. It, you can open documents in a very fast way. You also can see here in the uh, upper part, it's a multi-document uh, bar. So you can easily switch between your documents and work with many documents at the same time. So back to our last book. So the page turning is very fast. You also can navigate uh, using these buttons, these page turn buttons. If you don't like to touch the screen, it's quite comfortable to use those buttons too. So you also can navigate using um, just a moment here, here in this uh, um, right lower corner. You can see the number of pages. If you click on this, you can see four pages or nine pages at the same time and just select page you like or go to the next nine pages. It's a very good overview over the pages, uh, especially for technical documents. You can uh, very fast get to the page you need or just one page. So you also can use this progress bar. And navigate using this progress bar or also you can just set the page you need here for example page 5 page number 5 and get to the page number 5 In the page number 5 I can see it was the table of content in the table of content it's possible if of course uh, the document allows it uh, to navigate using this uh, table of content just click on chapter one the chapter one the link works very fast and you also can use another navigation option it is uh, here in this menu it's also a table of content but can generate it by by program itself so you here you can here navigate using this table of content also for example to chapter three chapter three back to the <coughs> navigation options so you can also use uh, uh, other options to, to navigate to, to particular part of the document for example here you can use the read mark uh, so I set some read marks here and uh, you can, for example, my read mark is chapter 18, so I can go to chapter 18, next chapters, chapter 18, chapter 17, so you can see it works. Okay, now I want to show you here in this um, upper right corner, you can see this read mark sign. You can unsign it or just sign set this read mark navigation menu here this is uh, about uh, highlighted parts in the book I did some highlighting for example let here I highlighted uh, and uh, commented a part of the text and uh, I could navigate to, the, to this part which, which I highlighted and uh, also you can annotate using this, this scribble option where you can uh, 
navigate to this page quite easily. So it's about navigations. How to do annotations I will show you in another session. In this uh, part I'd like to show you uh, some um, reading improvement features of the NEO2. Uh, I will open this document for example and you can improve the picture using uh, implemented features. For example, you can improve the contrast of the of the page easily here you can make it darker you can make it bolder for some documents documents it's uh, necessary to to do that especially for for scanned documents okay In this part I'd like to show you some annotation features of the NEO2 on Onyx Books Max 2. Uh, there are different ways to annotate your documents. So the easiest way is just to highlight uh, some text part. You can use either your finger and this. You can see now, following my finger. And if you highlighted something, you can either uh, just do highlight or make annotations, to, which means comments to the highlighted part, like here I'm writing test notes. So this part is now commented, and you can see here this is small icon. This small icon shows uh, that the commented part uh, contains your comments. Here, test note, for example. Later you can easily find your comment comments using this navigation uh, menu. For example, this commented part here test notes you see this this is my comment this is highlighted text part so another way to annotate your document is to scribble in it you can use scribble As you see, the the screen does not uh, react to the finger, just to the stylus. So you can comfortably annotate. Let's set a little bit bolder. So here, for example, something interesting for you, you can write. It will be saved in the document. So, next page. Here. Here. For example, agree. Oh. Another way to annotate uh, your document is using the newly added. Um, interesting feature that adds a blank page to to the to your document, and uh, you can annotate it easily using these uh, pages. For example, I see.
writing is very comfortable. It's absolutely, absolutely fantastic. The same feeling as you would write with a regular pencil. You can add uh, as many pages as you want, for example, uh, if you need more place to annotate something on the, in this document, you can just add another page and continue writing. Another page. Okay, continue writing. Here. You can navigate to your previous annotation with your notes. Delete not delete pages. For example, this current page will be deleted. So back to our document. Now you can see here in the upper right corner uh, additional icon which uh, show you that this page contains your handwritten annotation. If you export this document in the new exported documents it will those uh, annotated pages will be just added on the position where you did uh, add them in, in this original document and you will see in the PDF which uh, contained uh, let's say 10 pages and you made you added uh, two pages of annotations you will see 12 pages now uh, two pages with annotations will be at the uh, right position and uh, this document can be shared and storage on your, on your PC etc. You also can see in this uh, navigate, navigating uh, uh, menu those pages which I annotated are already here. You can immediately get to the annotated page and uh, work with your notes. Now I'd like to show you how the uh, Onyx Books own note application works. Here is a fast access to this note application. Just click on note or you can get to this uh, using applications menu and uh, open it here. Writing is, as I said, is very, very, very comfortable and fantastic. I don't write anything special, just would like to show you how the how fast it works and how exact it works. So you can adjust uh, the line using also this manual adjust adjustment and adjustment you can see it changes the line thickness or we'll use just presets And just something special, you can turn the, the stylus and uh, use the eraser or the stylus 
and erase just the line you don't want to, 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 to have. You also can use the uh, this uh, undo redo features in order to remove the last added line or redo it. In this part uh, I'd like to show how the browser and the browsing in internet uh, works uh, with this device. Someone from Mobile Read Forum asked me to, to show it. Now you can see. So the browser is here, is standard uh, the browser of the of uh, Android. You can install your own browsers like Chrome, Firefox, etc. And for example, I'd like to get to the page we no, wiki pedia. Contrast is very good and readability is very good. So another page I'd like to visit would be let's say mobile read. So it works quite fast. As long as long as you see those animated parts, the, the device changes to so-called A2 mode. It uh, has less contrast and can be uh, animated in a more comfort comfortable and fast way. As long as you let it the page changes to best uh, possible contrast and you can read your article very comfortably. In this part I'd like to show you how the dictionary feature. For example, I, I will open the document and would like to get translation of a word just need to type of it or technologies for example and a dictionary windows opens and uh, it looks for translations so you see here the translation you can install static dictionaries uh, there are a lot uh, of static dictionaries uh, 
I have installed for this uh, test purpose. For example, Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary, English Russian Dictionary, English German Dictionary, Lingua Universal Dictionary. For example, when I'd like to, s to see the German translation, so I see here technologies, it's in German technology, in Russian technica. So, um, you also can can use dictionary as a standalone application. Back to applications. So, here is dictionary. So this virtual keyboard to input a word. For example, let Input the keyboard. 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 So this is uh, um, already a list with uh, hints to the what I'm trying to input. For example, well, it's okay. This keyboard. I'm using the keyboard. Just the word. So keyboard. My lastly used German. Uh, dictionary displays the translation. I can select here which of the dictionaries I'd like to use now. For example, here's Russian dictionary. Here you can see the translation in Russian or translation in Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary. Here's full English Russian dictionary more detailed translation you can so switch between your dictionaries quite comfortably and then the settings here you can set your preferred dictionaries in my case I'm uh, using those five dictionaries and disabled the uh, static logman dictionary. So back to the app. Here you can also use Victionary connected to a Wi-Fi net and then to the internet. You can, of course, install your own applications from um, Play Store. For example, I like very much the Golden Dictionary and Blue Dictionary. So, it's uh, just a new.